Hello everyone, what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to use Adobe Photoshop to make an animated GIF of a spider uh, for use on a website. Now, what we're going to, the theme I'm going to use is um, this Halloween theme, uh, which is this one here. So I've just in a search up here typed in Halloween and um, I've already made the GIF so that you can see. So you can see I've got the spider that runs across to add a little bit of uh, element of excitement and animation to our website. If I scroll all the way down the bottom here, you can see this template already has another kind of animated GIF in here that, as well. So um, as we do this spider lesson, you'll see how easy something like this is to make. Okay, so let's just jump into Photoshop and let's get started. Um, let's go to create a new document and we're going to choose the web preset again and let's choose web large um, 1920 by 1080 let's take off artboards and let's have the background we'll keep the background contents as white for the moment okay and let's cre create right the next thing we're going to do um, is first of all sorry we'll unlock our background layer um, we want to go into file and place embedded Okay, and we want to find the uh, JPEG of where is it? Our um, our spider walk JPEG, which is just here. Let's go to file and we'll place that in our document. Okay, now we want to make our spiders quite big, so I'm just going to zoom out with Command minus, and let's just grab a corner and stretch this out. Now we're going to ignore this main spider here. We want the spiders here that are in a in a kind of a walk cycle sequence that we're going to um, use a trace drawing technique and brushes in Photoshop to draw over the top of and create each individual one and then we'll animate them. Yeah, so if we work with a size about that big, um, that's pretty good. Okay, so there's our background our layer that we're going to trace from. Um, Command plus to zoom in a bit closer so we can see things a bit better. Let's create a new layer. Actually, yes, we'll create a new layer and let's double click it and rename it. Let's call it body outline. Okay, now animation is quite a time consuming process and you'll see why as we run through this lesson. Um, body outline. Now, we're going to use our brush tool. All right, and um, when we're working with a brush tool, it's a good idea to have your um, your brush panel open here. Okay, now if you don't have it, you probably won't. Just go to Window and just activate Brushes, and they'll pop up over here. All right, um, in you'll notice you've got a whole heap of brushes to choose from here. We're just going to go into General Brushes. I'm just going to use the hard round one for most of this lesson. Okay, um, if you've got a graphics tablet, you could use that also. Okay, and on this layer, we're going to use black um, black paint. I'm going to zoom in a bit more here, so because we just want to outline the body. Okay, uh, before I start, if we select the spider layer, we can drop the opacity maybe to about 50%, just so that when we draw on our body outline layer or any other layer, we can see it a little bit better. Now, to change the size of your brushes, you can use the um, the bracket keys, the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard, just above and above the return key, okay? Um, so let's now just trace this. Actually, I'm gonna start with the head here and I'm just gonna kinda of go like this around for the head. We're just doing the outline at the moment and that'll do for the head. And, and this is gonna be perfect because I'm gonna be rushing, but we're gonna use a black outline and then we're gonna color and we'll get this kind of cartoon-like effect. All right, there's our outline there okay now that's done let's create a new layer and let's call this layer body fill and we're going to give our body a fill color so um, we could just choose a color from the color mixer up here i'm going to use a blue color for our spider um, we don't want it too dark because the template we're going to be popping it on top of is quite dark as well all right so be mindful of that now what we want to do is we want to move this body fill layer underneath our body outline layer and I'll show you why because once we start painting I'm going to make my brush bigger with the arrow uh, bracket key we don't want to brush over the uh, paint over the top of our line we want to be painting underneath it so pop the body fill layer underneath and you might need to zoom in and just carefully do around the edges because we don't want to go outside because that won't look very good okay so you'd start with a smaller brush we can just do around the outside Okay, I might speed this part of the video up. 
There we go. Now, if you do make a mistake, say you go outside there, just Command Z to undo. All right, and now we'll just fill in the rest. We'll make our brush bigger with the right bracket key. And let's just fill that in like that. Okay, make it a bit smaller with the left bracket key. And we'll just fill that in like that. And there, that's, there we have that part done. Now, the next part we're going to do is the eyes, all right? So let's, we want the eyes on top of the, both of these layers that we've created. So let's uh, double, create a new layer. So double click the layer and call it, let's call it eyes outline. This will be for the outline of our eyes. So make sure we've got black paint selected. Um, make sure your brush tool selected. Let's, what we'll do is we'll go to the body fill layer and we'll um, make it semi-transparent so we can actually see what's underneath. Let's zoom in with Command Plus and hold Spacebar and click and hold and drag with your mouse and you can pan around the image. And we'll make this brush a bit smaller. Let's just do the outlines. Um, now make sure that your eye outline layer is selected. I was about to draw my body fill layer and it's going to be the... the the drawing will the eyes will be on the wrong layer okay it's not what we want so let's go to the eyes outline and let's do a circle and i'm going to just pop the eyes off the head just a little bit just make it look a little bit cooler all right and we'll do the same thing for this eye a little bit off the edge there we go um now let's create a new layer and i'll call this one eyes fill and we're going to fill it with white so let's use the two arrow keys here to swap back to white paint uh, it's a quick way to do it and let's go around the edges here actually command z to undo that we want to put our eyes fill layer underneath our outline layer make our brush a bit bigger so that when we paint over our black outline that we just created we're painting behind it and not on top of it and now just fill in the gaps like we did with the body Okay, let's swap back the black paint with the arrow key there and uh, let's put a couple of pupils in. I'll make the brush a bit bigger. It's up to you how big you want your pupils to be. And there we have our eyes. Now, if we zoom out, we can have a look at how the body's looking. Um, there we go. That looks pretty good. Body fill. Let's go back to that layer and let's put the opacity back up. And there we have it. Our eyes are a bit out of whack there, but that's okay. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to, if we have a look at our animation um, I'll just get it up in a picture here, our spider walk graphic. You'll see that there are one, two, three, there's 10 um, different graphics here where the legs are in different positions for this animation sequence. All right, um, I'm gonna do all 10. You may do every second one just to save a bit of time. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, back into Photoshop. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to now merge all these layers together because we want to keep the same body We're not going to change the body at all just for, to save some time. So um, Let's hold select the bottom layer the body fill layer Okay, and hold shift and click the top layer the eyes outline right click and let's just merge the layers Okay, we could group them, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to merge them All right, and because there are ten different spiders uh, we'll need ten different bodies so um, Let's what we're going to do is let's get the move tool and you can notice we can move this one individually I'm just going to move it up here and we're going to clone this ten times uh, nine times because we've already got one So to clone it what we're going to do is hold option down on the keyboard Make sure your move tool is selected and when you hover over you can see your cursor changes to two a white and a black and just click hold and drag and then we've cloned one and you'll notice in our layers that it's created a copy so we're gonna we want a total of 10 of these bodies all right and this way we won't have to redraw them individually 10 times now if you wanted to redraw them individually um, you could make slight alterations to them for example you could move the eyes around you could have a left and a right eye so that as the spider animates the eyes move as well Okay, but we won't do that in this lesson. So how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more option. Now we've got 10. Now what we're gonna do is draw the legs on the spider and each of these um, spider graphics on this template, the legs are in slightly different positions and that will, sh that will create the, the legs animation, the leg animation. Okay, so what we'll do is let's just grab the um the first the eyes outline layer the first one all right and let's move it into position here on top of our spider we might move it down a bit um and we might actually go to the spider walk i'm going to move this down a bit so it's not overlapping there um and let's zoom in with command plus 
Okay, and let's just position our body roughly to on top of that one. All right, and let's create a new layer and let's call this layer, double click it and call it legs. Okay, and click, hold and drag the legs underneath the eyes outline layer. And all we're gonna do is grab the black tool, the paintbrush again, and change it to the size you want, depending on how thick or thin you want your spider's legs. And let's just draw, might make these a bit thinner actually, draw the legs on like this. Okay, so there's all our legs drawn in. Command minus to zoom out. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the move tool um, so we don't accidentally draw anything. And let's, um, with the legs layer selected, hold shift and select the eyes outline layer. And we're going to merge these so that this graphic is all one. So let's merge these layers. And there we have our first spider. Now, let's double click it and let's call it spider one. Okay, it's important that we name we're going to do this 10 more times, uh, nine more times, sorry, and it's important that we name the layers in order, spider one, two, three, four, five, etc., so that when we create the animation sequence, it's in the right order. Let's just move the spider off to the side at the moment so it's out of the way, and let's grab the next body, okay, and let's grab the next, the spider walk, um, image, move it across because this is our spider number two, our second cycle. Let's zoom in so we can see it better. Spacebar to pan around. Okay, um, and again, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new layer, double click it, call it legs, click, hold, and drag it underneath. And all we're going to do is just repeat the process, okay, exactly what we did before, and then um, once that's done, move the um, merge the graphic, move it along, move the image along, and then drag the next one in and repeat that until you're finished. So then we've drawn, merged, and named our layers um, from Spider 1 to Spider 10. The next thing we're going to do is select our background image layer and um, delete that by pressing delete on the keyboard. And let's delete our colored layer, our white color layer by pressing delete. And that'll give us our tr a nice transparent background for us to work on. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we will right click each layer individually and convert them to a smart object. Okay, the reason we're going to do that is because when we use free transform um, to resize and rotate images in Photoshop, each time you do that, you lose a little bit of quality. Okay, if we convert the layers to smart objects, you won't lose any of the quality. Okay, now that they're all smart objects, what we're going to do is select Spider 1, which is the first one in our walk cycle. Um, I'm just going to move Spider 10 down here, and we're going to position all of our spiders in the sequence that we want the animation to take place. So um, grab your first spider. Um, if you hold Command and press T on the keyboard, all right, that's going to bring up your free transform controls. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And what we can do is if we hover over here, we can resize by doing this. I'm not going to resize any of these because uh, I don't have the time. Or if you just hover a little bit above, you can rotate as well, okay, and get these guys into the position that you want them to be in. So uh, I'll position mine and I'll speed the video clip up and you can position yours any way that you like. Once you've done that, press return on the keyboard to set the transform controls. Okay, now it's important, two important things is to make sure that your spiders uh, are in the correct order through the animation sequence from spider 1 to 10. Uh, otherwise the leg movements may not look, look a bit funny or not realistic. And if they're overlapping, it doesn't matter because each of these um, drawings are going to appear on the screen at a separate time when we create the animation. All right, so let's get these guys animating by going up to window and let's op open up our timeline. And let's click the Create Frame Animation button. Uh, click the little drop down arrow if yours says video. All right, click that button and let's hit the hamburger menu here and let's make frames from layers. Okay, and you can see it's turned all of our layers into individual frames. And if we press play, okay, you can see there is our frame by frame animation sequence. All right, um, now if that's a bit too quick for you, if you select the first one and then hold shift and select the last one there, you can uh, select them all at the same time. 
click the time button and then you may um, choose to slow it down by having no delay to 0.1 of a second delay. Okay, so it goes a bit slower. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. And that's all we really need to do. Now let's go to file and let's go to export. Now let's go to save for web and let's uh, preview this and get it up onto Wix. Now, um, you can see um, I've used, we need to use the GIF file format because that will create our animation. And I'm going to drop the colors from 256 to 128 because it's not a very colorful image. And you can see the file size there. It's quite nice and small, 181 kilobytes. Just make sure looping options is set for forever. Again, if you only want it to loop once and stop and don't play again, you can click once there. Uh, now, the thing that we need to change here um, is this color here, all right? Yours should default to white, okay? Um, when you're creating anything with transparency for use on a web with a different colored background, okay, um, it's important that you set that matte color to a similar background, uh, similar color to the background that's going to be placed on. All right, I'm not going to show you why this lesson, but in the next lesson, I will show you the difference between whether you do it or you're not, not doing it. So um, because our spider runs across the moon and the dark colored background, and the moon is orange and the background's like a dark, really dark orange, I've just chosen a color that's in between. Uh, with the color picker here, click OK, and um, you can preview this in your web browser. It's going to be quite big, but we're going to shrink it down in Wix. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let's save this and um, click Done. I've already saved mine to save a bit of time. Let's go into our Wix website, and then all you need to do is add it to your Wix template, and um, just like you would any other picture or graphic, add it there. Um, place it in there and you can also resize this make it bigger and smaller change the position of it to as you see fit uh, the other the only other thing that I did do with this one is when I put this in I um, I use the layer order in here so if I select this and I go to this button here you can arrange the elements you can move them forward and backwards so if I move this um, backwards um, the spider wall should run behind the moon okay so at the moment he's running behind the moon um but i wanted to run on top of the moon and but behind the text so you can use your arrange um options here so i'm just going to move it forward one and now you can see it'll run the spider will be sent a position between the moon and the text there okay